Hi guys, Corin here with Good Craft on the Bad Budget. Today we are going to make mead. Now, I'm going to make two different meads. The first one is going to be, well, a traditional mead. The second one is going to be a mead. It's also known as a mellow mel. Now, it's a cheater's way of doing it because I didn't squeeze the juices myself. I actually went out and bought them. I know, before you get upset. But, you know, it was a good price. Couldn't pass it up. So let's get started. You're going to need a few things. Alright. You're going to need... Sanitizer. You're gonna you're gonna need a, san a sanitizer first of all. Okay, non-rinse. All right. Um. So never fear the foam. Okay. Um. So this is a fermentation bucket. All right. Gonna need a cup, which will be explained about in a minute. The. Uh, lid for the fermentation bucket. Remember, everything has to be sanitized. You don't want no funky funks, and, and trust me, it'll turn out bad. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Come on in here. Give me a hand, man. Everybody, remember silver, don't you? All right. All right, what am I going to be doing? What you are going to be doing, sir, is you're going to be getting my yeast ready for me in just one second here. You're also going to need some yeast. Ta-da! Um, this is a dry wine yeast. You can also use a champagne champagne yeast. Or you can use a bread yeast. I don't recommend using the bread yeast because, well, it turns kind of beery. Um, however, it can be used. The taste is just slightly different. Uh, this is Red Star. Uh, the exact model is E491. Okay. Okay, good. Um... Fantastic. Uh, good. You're going to need some honey. Now, you can use wild honey, you can use wildflower honey, you can use clover. Uh, use basically any kind of honey. Um, the taste and the color will be different depending on the type of honey that you use. Um, now, if uh, Mr. Silverman over here would kindly get me some halfway decent hot water running into these bowls over here. When it uh, heats up um, to a fairly degree, not too hot, I want to tell you. Uh, fairly, you know, warm over the hands. Um, we'll go ahead and get that yeast started. Uh, you can do a yeast starter. Uh, you don't have to, although just to make everything combined easier, I find it a lot easier to do that. Do it all the way up? Uh, not all the way up, just enough. That's plenty right there. Okay. Yeah, got the same in that. Perfect. Okay. Now, also, before you open your yeast pack, you want to give it a quick uh, douse of the sanitizer. Alright. Um, if you want to go ahead and open this one uh, up. Alright, now we're going to get started first on the, uh, I believe we're going to do the. Uh, which one were we going to do first? Ah, yes. We're going to go ahead and do the actual mead part first. Again, make sure your containers are sanitized. Ah, a pair of scissors. There's no notch. There's no notch. Okay, hold on one minute and I will go get some. So, I'm going to pause right now for just a moment while I go get the scissors. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, now that I have my container sterilized, what we're going to do next is we are going to... Now, this is a non-boil recipe. Things can get very, very difficult with, when it comes to meat. and get all excavalent with adjectives and things like that. Eh, -eh not on the good craft. We don't play that. Uh, excuse me, one second. All right. Gonna go ahead and open. Now this is spring water. I do recommend you use a form of, you know, pure water, spring water. Even uh, as long as you have a filter on your tap, you can use one of that. But I do not recommend using tap water for this unless you boil it and then you well yeah have the stuff. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a light heat up real quick. A couple quarts into a pan. That's been sterilized, of course. Okay, that should be plenty. Okay. Now, 
while that water is heating up, I'm also going to express... Now, honey can be really thick, and, you know, you sitting there for days pouring it out. I recommend that you put it in warm water and let it, uh, you know, get a little loose before you pour it in there. Okay, the yeast is poured in. Good. Um, now, because there's natural oils and things, or natural bacteria in the air, I like to cover my yeast just to let it go ahead and sit. Now, I usually let it sit for about 15 minutes or so, give or take. Um, and while the water is heating up over here and the yeast is setting, uh, I'm going to be right back with you in just a minute. Okay. Okay. All right, now that we have the water heated up to uh, a nice little temperature, not boiling, keep that in mind. All right, turn, go ahead and turn that heat off. Now comes the fun part, measuring the honey. Now, the more honey you put in, the sweeter it's going to be. The less, the more alcoholic the stuff taste it's going to have. Um, <laughs> are you laughing at me? No, no I, I'm secretly laughing with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, for one little pound of mead, I am going to use anywhere between two cups to two and a half cups. Okay? So, that's where the measuring comes in handy. All right. So, we go ahead and pour this in. Hopefully, it'll give me two cups. Come on, big daddy. Give me two cups. Give me... Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go ahead and mix that in there. Good. All right. That's one. You want to go ahead and uh, open me up another one here? Considering you don't have nails for it. Ah. Sorry. Freshly manicured. What can I say? That's, uh, uh, hold on. I almost got it. Now, one and out. <laughs> Shake that loose. Alright. Um, grab. What are you looking for? Uh, this. A little excess spring water. Yeah. Get all that honey out. And there. Aha. Great. This works too. Get all that sweetness. Because this is a good wrap on a bad budget. We don't like to waste materials. Alright. Awesome. Alright. Now, just going to pour a little bit more in there. Believe me, this could take days if you didn't melt it first. Or not melt it necessarily. Whoa! Warm it. Okay. We'll save that one for the next batch. Perfect. Alright. Now, if Harmony would be kind enough to step over here for a moment with that camera. Alright. Come on over here. Now, we don't want any, we want to mix this up real good, make sure that honey gets melted into that pot. It's probably a little dark, so, um, why don't we come over here a little bit there, Harm? Yep. Get that all nice and mixed up in there. Ooh, has a nice honey smell. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and give that a taste there. Not taste. <laughs> Just kidding. No taste. Okay. Good. Now, it's a little too hot to put it where we're going to put it. So, we're just going to go ahead and cool it down just a little bit. Alright, and while this is cooling, we'll be right back. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's pretty much cooled down now. And this is what's great about having an assistant. Once you come over here, we, first things first, are going to add this in a hill. So, I'm going to need you to lift this up 
and pour it into our sterilized milk carton. Now when I tell you, whoa! <laughs> Bring it on, bring it on. Keep bringing it. Okay, that should be good for right now. Thank you. Now, now that we have that in now, what comes next might act like a little bit of a surprise, but it's really not. Orange juice. Now what you want is about a cup, <coughs> although I don't think a cup could fit in there. And um, so, give me one second, I will bear you. with you. Is, uh, yes, I need, uh, hey Chad, ah, there it is. Thank you. Come on, go. See, this is coming handy. Ah. Okay, orange juice. About a cup. Don't worry about your meat tasting orangey. It ain't gonna happen. Almost. Good old funnel. Get all that honey out of there. Look at that. Look at that coming. Yeah. Slammy is satisfying. Okay. Don't worry about the honey sticking to that because I have a plan. Alright, now. Now comes an interesting part. Now, because honey doesn't have a natural fermentation to it, well, by itself, naturally, um, what you're going to do is you're going to add some orange. The orange is going to take up, don't worry about taking the rind off. That's all going to come in handy. And maybe a little bit more. Voila, that is good. All right, now, next, the yeast, which has for come up quite nicely. Give it a little stir to make sure it all gets in there. All right, there we go. Uh, that, thank you, sir. Would you mind holding that? Ready me. You want to pitch your yeast right in? All right. Oh, hold on one minute. And just to add a little more water to it. You want to leave enough for some fermentation to start happening. That is plenty. Thank you. Now, with a sterilized lid, of course, whoop, my assistant is going to give this a good old hearty shake. Five minutes. Well, five minutes. For us, make sure you get it all up in there. Real good. This is called aerating your mead. These put because the yeast needs a lot of air to breathe and to get that nice alcohol going there and feed itself. all shaking up. Now comes the fun part. A balloon it. Now, make sure you please at least, you know, give me a, a you know, quick rinse in the sterilized solution. Because, again, no contaminants. Now, you want to take this, put this right over it, like so, and I'll be right back. Maybe. Sort of. you want to do is you just want to poke a hole in your to let the carbon out now you don't now if, if it starts to get like really big might have to poke another hole in it but this will definitely let all that stuff out and there you have mead
and we'll show you a long process about this coming back throughout the videos coming up. Okay? Blessed be.